Hello and welcome to another episode of Shopping for the Real You. I'm Andrea Flommer, the author of the book Shopping for the Real You. And again, my guest is Brigitte Niash. Uh, Brigitte is the author of this book, Living Longer, Living Well. It's a wonderful book. And um, today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects. They're all my favorite subjects. But this one is, is uh, close to me since I've been doing this this week. It's about how to clean out your wardrobe. And so welcome, Brigitte. Thank you. I'm happy to be here with you again. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> and so before we start, so let's, let's um, start with one of the basics, which is uh, when is it time to clean out your closet and why does it need cleaning out? <laughs> I mean, I kind of okay. know why, but tell us why. Those are two questions. Let's take yeah. the first one first. It is time to clean out your closet when you can't find a hanger anymore. You know, <laughs> you, you scroll around good. and you're looking around, where can I find a hanger to hang the blouse up or whatever it is sure. you want to hang up? That's a real sign that you have added and added and added to your wardrobe without taking something out. So when you start looking for hangers, you must, it's kind of a sign and say, I should look at what I don't need in there. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a very good reason. <laughs> <laughs> now, how often, it doesn't happen to everybody, but how often I would say at least twice a year, like when at the change of the season, basically, when you put your, a lot of people put their winter clothes away and, you know, change over to the new season. I think that's a very good idea to do it then. Yeah, so that's twice a year is, is, a, is a good time to do it. That's exactly what I did this last week. I now have, I, I, I dragged, we have small closets, so mm -hmm. I carry the winter clothes up to the guest room yeah. and the summer clothes down to my, my, yeah, my yeah. closet. And that gives you a real opportunity to see it you know, what, yeah, uh, yeah. It, well, we'll go on. We'll, so so yeah. um, we know how often it should be done. So, oh, I had a big question. Is this, a, do you consider this a do-it-yourself project or should you have a friend help you? Uh, I think it's a do-it-yourself project. I mean, I have done, uh, you know, what of uh, consultations with, uh, with women and uh, they agreed that that dress was, you know, really not anymore for them. And she would kind of hang it on the and then a girlfriend arrived and the girlfriend would say, oh, you, what are you doing to this cute dress? It's so cute. Yeah. And, you know, she would put it back. Yeah. The girlfriend doesn't see how she doesn't know how you feel in something. That's right. You see. And also uh, the girlfriend looks at the dress and maybe not at you. So I think if you can do it, uh, it's good to do it by yourself. Now, if you have somebody you can really rely on and, and you have the feeling is honest, yeah. Uh, I mean, sometimes I did it with my mother when she was alive and she would say, oh, you look absolutely awful in that thing, yeah. But you see, <laughs> some people don't have the, have that courage to say that, you know. That's right. and, and I wasn't thinking that way, but she said, really, look at it. She said, it doesn't do anything for you to look awful in it, yeah. So if you have somebody who can really you trust, but on the whole, you, I think you should do it by yourself. Because yeah. only you know how you feel in something. Because, you know, sometimes it's a feel. It's not the look. I mean, you might have bought this beautiful top, but the material doesn't feel right. It scratches. It's not, it doesn't fall right when you move. You see, that the girlfriend doesn't know. Yeah, And that's where you are the last judge to actually <laughs> decide if it should stay or go. Yeah. That, that's a very good point. And that's a very good example because um, I... In going through my my summer, my spring and summer things, I found uh, there. I have a very beautiful tunic top that that yeah. I wore, but it's it's uh, the material. It, it's beautiful. It's a very co a very light cotton voile, yeah. but it looks it doesn't look substantial on it's me. It's it's it's, it's, it's kind it's, of floaty. You yeah, know, and it and it it's not doesn't quite suit my personality. I need something a little more oomph, right. Right. and so yeah. So and somebody else will say, oh, but it's so beautiful, just like you said. <laughs> okay. And, and by the way, yeah. And, and that uh, too. There's something funny that happens. We have some things we love for years, and we look good in them. And then comes the day, and you put it on, and you think, what is this all about? <laughs> <laughs> and I, and like you just mentioned, you see, when you bought these tunics, they were probably right. But over the time, they're not right anymore. Yeah. So that is also something we have to not 
knock ourselves, you know, why can I, why do I have to give this beautiful blouse away or this very nice top away? It's so nice, you know, it's not you anymore. And, mm -hmm. and that eliminates it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I find that if you keep it for too long, um, it's really hard to even recycle it because it's gone so far out of fashion. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, they keep saying everything comes back. Yes and no, because, you know, when you see the dresses of the 50s now, they're bringing back the look a little bit. They don't look like the dress I wore in, in the 50s. They don't. <laughs> <That's> I, and, <laughs> so it doesn't. And then sometimes people say, you know, how long I have this, uh, you know, for 15 years. And I have great trouble saying, yeah, it shows, you know, the material isn't fresh anymore. You know, it doesn't look fresh anymore. Yeah. Right, so I think right. it's better to, you know, get something new. Even if it looks a little bit like what you had before, but there's something new about it. And today we have the pleasure of having all these new materials, these new fabrics. Yeah, uh, I mean, a cotton dress from the 50s does not look like the same, even if it was the same style as a dress made from a fabric today. Yeah, so the fabric has a lot to do with it. Yeah, right. On, on, a, on a kind of cosmic level, I know that when you wear something for a long time, it, it picks up a certain vibe, <laughs> you know, it, it's yeah. got vibrations in it from your history and your experience. Right. Right. And so every time you wear it, it reminds you of that. And maybe it's time to let go of that. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that is especially true when you have lost your spouse, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, you remember that yellow dress you wore on that vacation with him. And here we are with the yellow dress. And, and like you just said, all the memories come back and all the... Uh, you know, the, the good things that you have lost and it, it kind of emphasizes it again. And I you don't need that yellow dress to do this to you. you. You remember him, yeah, but you don't want it to be done in this way. That, that that's is, the same reason why I don't like... <laughs> I, people keep pictures of their family from years and years ago. And <laughs> I don't like pictures of myself from years and years ago because this is who I am now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm laughing because what I think is so funny with the pictures from years ago, you know, at that time, we felt so smart. You know, I mean, we were really thinking we were, we were it, you know. We had this <laughs> nice on here. Now, and now you look at it, like you say, uh, what was I thinking? Because you're not that person anymore, yeah. But you're right. <laughs> so, um, well, let's go a little bit deeper into this concept of how you should decide what to get rid of. Yeah. Um, so we know that if it has a certain feeling or makes you feel a certain way, but... Uh, is there anything else you might add about why, about when it's time to get rid of, of something? Yes, because as we all know, we wear about maybe eight, ten things in our wardrobe and the rest just hangs. Yeah? That's one thing. So that means we don't remember how the rest looks. So the secret is, and it's absolutely necessary to try these things on. And I would like to mention here, you have to set aside a good afternoon to do this. It, you can't do this quickly in an hour, you know. You have to have the time and really look at it. It takes time. Uh, and you have to try it on, you know. I mean, like we said before. Let's hang on, Tris. Okay. I was waiting for the sirens to go. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is the background music of New York, you know. I know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you don't remember, you see. Uh, you, oh, and then sometimes you're so surprised what you find. Oh, look at this, I for, totally forgot about this, yeah. And uh, and then you have to try it on. And then it might still look good and it might not. And, you know, the other thing is when you try something on, and this is important, look at your face. Look, don't just look at the dress. Look what, you, what this does for you. You see, some things you try on and they're really nice, but they don't do a thing for you, yeah. The other um, indication is when you put it on, you should feel right away good in it and not do this and, uh, and adjust it and turn around from the back. That's the same thing when you go shopping. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't make it better. It should be something you put on and you say, yeah, wow, this looks good on me. Yeah. So that is the other thing when you go through your wardrobe. When it doesn't look good on you anymore, uh, out. And when it looks tired, out. I mean, we, we all are not short of clothing. You know, it's not like you have to keep it because you have nothing else. I mean, most of us have a huge wardrobe, uh, too, too much actually. Yeah, uh, so that is the, the thing. When you try it on, and don't just try on a top by itself. Put a pair of pants on and put the top with it. Yeah, because again, a top alone and you have nothing on the bottom, how can you decide? <laughs> yeah. Right, you have to have an outfit, otherwise you've got a, an orphan sitting in your closet. 
a bright light, you know, so that is also important. So trying on is absolutely necessary here. Yeah. Sometimes it's too loose, sometimes it has become too tight, and, and you always thought of this dress of being such nice, so such a nice piece, and you finally put it on and you think, oh, the zip really doesn't close very well. And that, that should go. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this should go. And they do say if you haven't worn it in a year, it should go. That's a little uh, too much. I mean, you can't throw out everything that you haven't worn in a year, you know, <laughs> because it can, depends on the weather. It depends on your lifestyle, uh, on a lot of things, why you haven't worn something that you like. So you can't just get rid of it because you haven't worn it in that year, you know. But maybe come to four or five years, uh, maybe, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, and then it happens, like uh, I did this recently, um, a nice, a co very nice coat from Burberry. I had, and uh, it just didn't suit me. It was that funny grayish brownish color. And again, when I bought it, it must have suited me because, you know, I bought it. But now it was drab. It looked drab, and we should stay away from drab things, you know. But it hung a little longer than it should, uh, even so I'm talking about this, because it was such a good coat. That's yeah. right. And I, months, I just said, out it go, and I was so happy when it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I was working with a client last month, and um, she was trying to pull together a professional look, and she pulled a black blazer out of her closet and she, because she felt that it would make her look professional and she put it on and her face went like this oh, and I you... said you don't look happy <laughs> your, your whole demeanor changed when you put that yeah, thing yeah, on yeah. so it was yeah. a thing in her head that she thought this yeah. made her look professional because it was a black blazer yeah, and yeah. maybe there is a black blazer that would work for her but this one sure did not and yeah, everything that... about her said it yeah, and it's also not, not, sometimes not just the color. You just mentioned it. It might have been the style. You see, if that, it could have been a, 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 a little jacket, a short little jacket with a different color in black, and it would have looked all right. You see, it wasn't the color. It was the blazer. That's yeah. right. And, uh, so she got, she eliminated it. She got a new one. <laughs> what did she do with it? Uh, I think she, I think she gave that one away. Um, yeah, I think she gave that one away. It was just too heavy for her, and she could wear black beautifully, but yeah, yeah, yeah. she, she but, could you know, see the difference. And then the other thing is, once you decided that you want to get rid of this a piece, this piece, there should be a bag standing next to you in the room mm -hmm. where you immediately fold it up and put it in, that you don't see it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Three hours later, it's like this lady there who, you know, we had, she had just thrown the dress over the, over the chair, had she put it in the bag right away, the girlfriend wouldn't even have seen it anymore. That's you see. right. And, and it's for yourself too, that you don't want second thoughts. You already made this decision, which isn't always easy, to get rid of it. And then you have to make it again <laughs> by seeing it again, yeah? Right, right away in the bag, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Out. Right. I have four bags in the guest room right now that I'm taking to the Goodwill this weekend. So. <laughs> And, now they, and, and, you know, these organizations, they do a good job, actually, in um, yes. recycling this and, you know, making people um, happier with something inexpensive that they otherwise couldn't afford. Yeah. And, right. And, and you want to make, make sure that when you're recycling something that it's in as decent enough shape that somebody yeah. will actually want it. Because I have read that if you just throw junk into the goodwill pile, it ends up going into a junk pile in the third world, and you don't want that. You yeah. want it to be useful. Right. Uh, I mean, we have that where I, at the Bonneros Closets where I work, we take donations, yeah? And sometimes, really, I feel insulted when you undo the bags. Huh? Mm -hmm. They throw everything in there, yeah? And you feel like saying, well, you're not a garbage dump, you know? Yeah. This is yeah. supposed to be for people who need it, yeah? That's so, right. But you see, they think if they put every old thing in, I mean, some people, uh, their deduction is bigger. You know. Did you know H and M? You can bring your things, and they give you a credit towards the new, uh, new purchases. Uh, you mean at the Goodwill? No, at H and M. You know this, the the oh. H and M. Oh, they I didn't know go, that. Uh, if they have it all over the country, but here in New York, you can actually take, and it doesn't have to be from H and M. It can be anything. They take it, and then they give you a credit to something you buy in their store one day. Pay Which attention, I, ladies. This is a yes. boon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. but when it goes to these third world countries, it's not um, uh, it's not all bad because you know they're so poor. They, here is a, somebody in uh, on Staten Island, uh, no, in Queens. They handle this and they sell it by the pound in huge bales wow. to these third world countries. Yeah, and those people are so poor. Yeah, that 
and then they sell it piece by piece, of course, yeah, to the public. Yeah. I was in Morocco once, and I, we were, and I liked the antiques very much, so we went to a flea market. And we were walking along, and there were all these clothes, and I looked at it, and there was Calvin Klein. All our designer names were lying on the floor there. So they, they really have their own life, uh, you know, which is here, Goodwill or wherever. And then they go to another place, and they still do some good, you know, uh, for uh -huh. two people. Yeah, <laughs> so there it's like a dollar fifty cents, you know, because it, these people don't have more money. <laughs> but no, no, it's not totally lost. Uh, it, it it has its own life. Yeah, these secondhand things. Oh, well, that's good. Um, let's see. Uh, let's talk about. Um, you know, how how do you how do you let the, the question is. How can I let go of things? You know? all right. Yeah, I, 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 that's, that's a very good point. We all have something in the closet we will never get rid of. I mean, it's either the dress you wore to your son's wedding, uh, a dress that you wore when you were 19 or two, and you should hang on to them. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong. Uh, like I said, I have this dress from my son's wedding, and uh, of course, you know, I keep it. And every time I see it, I think, oh, there's my wedding dress, because I always think if I get married again, I'm going to wear that dress, you know. <laughs> you, have, <laughs> you have to, our people have a dress from when they were very young, when they went to a dance, and they have a special memory, a happy one. Uh, hang on to it. It's one or two pieces, you know. It's not like 20 things that you right, want to hang right. on to. But that very special piece that you want to keep, or you know you were young and it reminds you of your youth or something keep it yeah i mean there was this program on television uh, i don't know there was a, a woman and a man and they went and cleaned out people's uh, closets uh, mm -hmm. and right. yeah. i remember you might have seen it and i found it always very very uh, hurtful the way they went into somebody's closet and just threw the things in the garbage yeah yeah and then yeah. all of a sudden say oh no 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 i wore that there and there i always loved that that's whatever and they said never mind I don't think that's why. right. I agree entirely. <laughs> I think our clothes are part of us, yeah. And when there is such a part we don't want to let go of, hang on to it. Put it in the back of the closet and it reminds you of something nice when you see it, yeah. Uh, so I think that would be the best thing, yeah. And like nobody has 10 or 20 of those, maybe you have three, yeah. How many How many do you have really trouble, did you have trouble getting rid of when you did your wardrobe? Uh, I said, how many did you have trouble getting rid of when you did your wardrobe uh, last week? I I didn't really have too much trouble. I was pretty ruthless, and I'll tell you what I did. Um, this time, instead of, I usually hang things by color. I didn't yeah. do that this time. This time, I hung things, I, I looked at the things, and I created entire outfits. That's a very good idea. And I yeah. hung the outfits together because I thought, if I just hang the pieces up there, it's more likely that I won't wear them next year and next year. I said, I mean, I'm going to force myself to wear yeah. these things this year. That's and cool. uh, and if they don't get worn, out they go. Out yeah, they and also go. The, the thing is, when you put pieces together, like you said, I mean, now while you're doing it, you remember that goes with that. But Nick, in two days, you, you look in your wardrobe and you say, what am I going to wear? You see? That's right. And, you forgot, you know. So I think it's a, it's a. I, sometimes I've even suggested to some women I work with to make a kind of uh, um, menu, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hang it on your wardrobe, yeah, because they couldn't remember. They said next week I don't know what went with what. I said, well, let's write it down. And I always okay. started with the bottom part, like the the brown pants, and then you put under the brown pants on the side what went with them, yeah, mm -hmm. and you put that on your wardrobe, yeah. And they right. said it worked wonderfully because it's true you forget, yeah, which. Right what went with what and you know and then you're scrambling around again trying to find it together and and also it shows you uh, the brown pants what I have five tops with that that's too much you see it's another way of kind of eliminating now which of these five oh that one can go yeah it right. helps again to get rid of something yeah uh, right. too I mean I know it sounds funny when you say you have to write it down but it is very useful no thing. I think that's <laughs> very practical because um, what happens is that if you don't do that, you end up wearing the same things. Most yeah. people actually do wear the same things most of the time. Yeah, yeah. But if you have the clothes, wear them, you know. And if you don't yeah. have it written down and you don't remember what it is, and if you're in a hurry, like most of us are, you fall yeah, back yeah. on the same thing. Yeah. So it makes it just makes logical sense yeah. to have hang them together. And that's one of the ways I was able to eliminate these things is because <laughs> if I found something that I couldn't put together in a whole outfit, no, I said, yeah. <laughs> How did it go? Yeah. 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 
And, and some that. of them are really nice. People are going to love what I'm recycling. <laughs> so anybody out there, if you want to go to the Goodwill in El Cerrito, you're going to get some great bargains. <laughs> no, but it, it's also nice to know that uh, somebody else can use it. I have a friend, she says, uh, let somebody else enjoy it. Yeah, right. you know, it's a nice sentence, you know, to, uh, to think that somebody else uh, has the opportunity to wear something nice because of you. Yeah, that does make me feel good. And yeah. especially if you if they're really nice pieces. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then so we we talked about it, but let's talk a little uh, go into a little more detail about what what can you do with these things? I mean, obviously there's the goodwill and we talked about H&M, but describe a little bit about what you do and um, maybe there are some other organizations in the US that do something yeah. like what you do. Sometimes, you know, I have I know some people personally who who work you know, who come from Ghana, for example, and they work for somebody, and their family is very poor over there. So certain things which would go fit there, I give to them. Yeah, uh, and then other things go to uh, the bottomless closet or somewhere else. So if you look around, uh, there are always people who you can personally give something to. Yeah, and uh, because I like to know that it doesn't go in a garbage can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nobody yeah. throws. It. Yeah, now it just gets rid of it. Yeah, and because you say, uh, you know, the things are nice that you give away, so you know, it, it would be nice to know who who is getting them. Yeah, I mean, you have you have a, a church community, for example. They have sales like every so often during the year, and they are very good too because you know people who really need it go there. Yeah, uh, the church people, and and I think the churches do very. They're very good in helping people, and closing should be one of them. Yeah, I think I, I think I talked about it in my book. I went to a church once to um, demo, to um, volunteer to cook, and they had so many volunteers, and I thought, no, they they don't really need me to cook here. And then a woman came to me uh, who was coming for the food, and she said, you don't have clothes, do you? And I, and I said, oh, wait a minute. So I asked one of the other men there working. I said, do we have clothes? He said, well, look over there. Sometimes people drop something off. Horrible stuff. And uh, but I found a men's jacket. It was a cold winter day. And I, I, I said, I'm sorry. It's all I have. And she said, look, it's better than nothing because I am so cold. And when she walked out, I thought, they don't need me to cut salad. They need me to get closer. So from then on, I collect the clothing for my friends. I get, I went to thrift shops and bought things, even sweaters mainly. And I went for a year every Saturday and handed that out. And, mm -hmm. you know, it was so nice to see them, uh, you know, wear the sweaters or say, I didn't have a nice sweater like this for years. Uh, so you can, you know, do something. Uh, if you don't want to do it yourself, I'm sure that in the church where you are, there is something you could get a little group together. I'll just do it once a month. You know, you don't have to or every three months. It doesn't have to be, you know, every week. And that's a nice thing because you really see them and you really see your sweater come back to life. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. That's, that's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. Um, I made yeah. some notes. I was, um, yeah. one of the things that people describe uh, and and you you and I both <laughs> agree that uh, they say if you don't wear it for a year, throw it away. I don't think that's a good idea. But they do describe that thing of the hanger trick where you turn the hanger around and then if at the end of the year it's still around, that means you haven't worn it and that's a clue to give it away. So that's I would say, you know, <laughs> extend that for a couple of years, but that's another possible way. Um, and then... Um, I also recommend wearing the things, that, uh, well, we talked about this, I said wear only your favorite things. <clears throat> that means that if you're keeping something, you really like it for all the reasons that we just mentioned. And if you're not sure, then uh, you alluded to this at the beginning, pack it away and then revisit it in a couple of months. And if you haven't missed it, right. then get rid of it. I, I love the fact that uh, when I made the decision, like you described, I folded them up, put them in the bag, and then I couldn't see them. And when you yeah. don't see them, you don't have self-doubt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, my son always says, if you haven't missed something in six months, you don't need it. And he, he applies this to everything, you know, yeah. furniture, whatever it is. So he always says, uh, or files or books. He said, you haven't looked at, you haven't missed them in six months. Missed is a word, yeah. He said, then it means you don't need them. And I think it's just closing the same thing, yeah. And what I think is the most surprising thing about doing going through your wardrobe, that you forget what you have. 
Yeah, that's true. Well, so many things that, oh, look at this, you know, you didn't even <laughs> know you had it. Yeah. So that means it really can go, you know, and, and there's a reason why you didn't wear it. You didn't really love it. You know, that's the other thing. Now, I, the lifestyle does come into it. Yeah. I mean, when people stop working, for example, there is a big change. Right. They don't need their work clothes anymore. Yeah. And I think they should then give them away yeah, and, and go for more fun things. Uh, uh, and um, uh, because that does change, you know, and then some people sometimes I see a beautiful evening thing, not even long, just a nice evening. I don't I don't have any reason to wear it anywhere. You see, then you don't buy it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and uh, again, there's one I have I keep just in case. But if the in case does not happen, you have to also get rid of it because if the in case comes after five years, you really don't want to get that old thing out. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. You want something more fashionable and nicer, and uh, you know, uh, the more today than this this thing that you have seen there for five years. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> because it's a lot of psychological psychology connected with our clothing, really. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, what makes us feel good lifts us up. That's right. You know, that's yeah. really. Yeah, the thing, yeah. So I think, I think yeah. everybody, you know, this should this should give everybody a, a really clear idea of how to deal with all this. Definitely, and, in my um, that I didn't forget anything. Uh, yeah, and the most important thing is, I mean, I and I I see this when I work with the women. They because I think most women know when something looks good on them, but we get sidetracked by all the fashion we see. I mean, you know, all of a sudden something becomes fashionable, which is not our look. Huh? Then mm. we feel bad because we don't buy it, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you don't have to wear it just because it's fashion. Yeah, I mean, uh, and I see that um, when I address these women, uh, I mean, it's they know because they always say, what do you think? And I say, what do you think? Yeah, I think it looks nice. I said, there you are, you see. Uh, so I think we know much better what looks good on us, but we, have, we don't trust our own judgment. Right. Yeah. Because we are, have so many things influencing us around us that we don't think we know. And in the end, you know. Yeah. Right. So you have to trust your own instincts a little bit that if you really didn't like this jacket for a long time, don't let your mother say, but it's such a nice jacket. I don't know why you want to give it away. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, you, you are the judge of what you want to wear and how you want to look. Right. Not That's that so people. true. I, I, I always tell people, train your eye and then trust your gut because your gut is kind of your, that is, that your is. emotional uh, mirror. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. And like I, I said, when I work with these guys, uh, they sometimes say, you look nice. And I said, how do you feel? She said, I don't feel. All, uh, well, I said, take it off. Take yeah. it off. Yeah. That, that's the answer, you see. The mm -hmm. feeling that you have to connect with the, with the piece. Mm -hmm. And for example, if we look at big patterns, I'm um, totally, I mean, they, they, they're nice when they're on the bottom. Right. When they're on the top, if the whole thing is a big pattern, that dress is wearing the person and not the person. Yeah, that's right. You know. Especially for little people like me. You yeah. Be real careful with the patterns. Yeah. You see, like you have done now with the with this scarf, that's very beautiful because the pattern is on the scarf. Yeah. But if, it was all, but if it was all over you, I would only see the birds. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> you know? So always right, look at your face and see what something does for you. You know, so yeah. that's very very important. And uh, and also when you clean out that wardrobe uh, regularly, uh, you that affects your budget. What we talked about last time. Right. You see, then you will think I really don't need so much because you see all. And then it's seeing three bags, like you said, or four bags to give away. You feel a little sorry that you have to, and you spent the money on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you had only one bag to give away, you could have bought different things of better quality, or you know something. It, it does affect the budget as well. Yeah. So less, less, less. I'm definitely for less. <laughs> right. I always say uh, fewer. Th what's uh, I think it's the Kuyana as the company. They say fewer things, better things, and that's I think right. that's a great mantra for, for yeah, shopping. But, but, but I think we have a drawback here. You see, here in the States, shopping is a pastime. That's right. And it's not just, it's that. And also, everywhere you go, you can buy something. I mean, you didn't, I, mean, I don't know where you live, but here, you never go anywhere where there isn't something to buy. So you get very tempted. And it's not always easy to say, I, I won't buy it, you know. Uh, because we are so surrounded by temptation, I call it. <laughs> well, this is this is a perfect segue into our next discussion, which is how do you prepare for a shopping trip? 
<laughs> so I'm going to use that as the as our <laughs> as our great introduction to our next topic. Um, this has been wonderful, informative, enlightening. Do you have one more last comment you want to make before we close? Uh, yes. You own the clothes. The clothes don't own you. And that gives you the right. That gives you the right. That's great. <laughs> give them away to not wear them, uh, to do anything you want with them, because they don't own you. You own them. Excellent. <laughs> Brigitte Niash, thank you again. And I want to remind everybody Brigitte's book, Living Longer, Living Well. It's got all kinds of information, not just about fashion, but about life very valuable information and I want to remind my readers that shopping for the real you is now on sale at Amazon for 40% oh, off and uh, there's only a little more than a dozen copies left so check it out anyway I, thank you so much Brigitte uh, and okay. um, join I us think. next time we're going to talk about a very important subject which is how to prepare for going shopping <laughs> and how to stick to the preparation <laughs> that you make. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the main point. <laughs> That's going to be the point. Thank you again, Rigita. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank Bye -bye. you very much. Yeah.